me Ebony and one of the most requested videos aside from asking how do you wash your hair while wearing a sew-in is how do you um, moisturize and seal. So I'm going to go ahead and explain how I do it. It works very well for me and I usually get a lot of retention when I wear sew-in so um, I would say this is a good method. I would suggest using a spray moisturizer. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions. Be Mine Juicy Spritz, this is a spray, a really good spray. It's a glycerin based moisturizer so I have to get away from it now that it's getting cooler. Um, and I'm going back to my Jane Carter Revitalizing Leave-In. These are the two suggestions that I have for you. Um, there's all sorts of spray. I think Shea Moisture makes a, a moisturizing spritz. Um, you can make your own with water, glycerin, and a couple of essential oils if you want. You know, you have a lot of options, but the reason why I say a spray is because it's easier to reach your real hair, you know, um, and then you're not putting it on in excessive amounts. In the past, I've done it in the applicator bottle with my moisturizer and stuff, and I've just put it on too heavy, um, and it became a problem. Also, I would suggest to try to move towards natural ingredient-based moisturizers, uh, and the reason for that is because when you use synthetic-based ingredients, that causes buildup a lot faster. It's uncomfortable because it itches. And then, you know, you don't want buildup on your hair. That's not good. So, um, the natural ingredient based products tend to absorb a little bit more completely absorb into your hair. And they cause, they don't cause buildup as quickly or as easily as your synthetic ingredient products. So, another spray moisturizer that I actually really like is the S. Carl spray. But I would never use that while in the sew in. I, I have in the past. and I know for a fact that it causes build up very quickly so I would never in the future use that while wearing a sewing because then you're going to walk around, hit yourself in the head like you know uh, Beyonce and them is telling you to do because you're wearing a weave and you can't scratch. It's just not good. Um, so I would say use a spray. Um, I also like to keep it at room temperature and sometimes I'll even stick it in like the refrigerator real quick to get it cooler just so that again just like when I wash my hair I can tell exactly where the product is being placed. I want to be able to feel it reach my hair and reach my scalp. Whether you're wearing a net or not, these tips work. Okay, I've worn a net weave. I almost always wear a net when I wear my sew-ins and the only reason why I didn't this time is because I knew I was only keeping it in for a very short period of time and it just wasn't necessary. But when you're wearing a net, it's the same thing because I know a lot of people say, well, what if you're wearing a net? I've done it when wearing my wet, wearing a net. It's the same exact thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how I do it. Um, you do have to understand your braid pattern because you want to make sure that you know whether or not your braids are going up and down and with how your tracks are laid if you didn't do it yourself because that makes it easier for you to get, you know, have access to your scalp. Um, and so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I moisturize. Okay, so now you've seen how I actually spray and moisturize my hair. My hair, I can feel it. It feels dampened and that's great. Um, now, as far as the sealing, I don't always seal my hair with an oil. I don't think it's necessary because like I said, your body produces its natural sebum from your scalp and so, uh, and your hair is not exposed, it's completely hidden. So I don't always seal my hair, but if I do, I use something in a nozzle tip or applicator bottle. This is from Be Mine. This is the um, Hair Growth Serum. Uh, you can make your own, you know, mixture or just simply pour whatever your favorite oil is into an applicator bottle. Uh, but when I do, I use this one because it's a growth serum and so I will go ahead and apply this along my scalp. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, applicator tip bottles are like your best friend when you're wearing a sew-in. It really helps you to navigate through the extensions, through the net if you're wearing it, whatever, and really reach your scalp and care for your real hair beneath. So I hope that that was helpful for you and that you got a good look at what I was actually doing, just lifting up my tracks and spraying the moisturizer in between and help using my finger to help like spread it along my scalp and hair um, if you saw that. So um, I tried to spray it directly on my hair, but 
you know, you get some on your scalp, which is why I say the natural ingredient based products are best, I think, um, because of the reasons I already stated. So thank you guys so much for the quest. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer you as best I can. Uh, also, if you are an expert weave wearer and you take you know good care of your hair beneath, you're not one of those people who neglect it, um, go ahead and leave your tips and comments because I'm sure they can help me, they can help other ladies. So uh, don't be selfish with your information as well. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care and stay blessed. Bye.